he used to hang out with Frank Sinatra down at Johnny the down at the sands. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen <was> Casino. <laughs> he was next to Oscar Goodman That's in right. Casino, yeah. playing himself, Chris yeah. Kim. Yeah. I'm so old, Frank Sinatra. I knew Frank Sinatra and Oscar Goodman when they were kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You you helped him study for the bar exam so he could become a lawyer. For I babysat them. <laughs> I babysat Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up, girl! <laughs> not break the microphone. Hey, what's up? I'm MJ. And I'm Bree. And we're just a couple of Vegas girls. Living the not-so-Vegas life. Yeah, but we're not regular Vegas girls. We're cool Vegas girls. Kinda. And this is the Keeping It Casual podcast. Where we talk about everything and nothing all at once. Let's do it. I like when you sang it out. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I love that song. Stupid movie. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ooh, guess where we are right now? I think we're in Toluca Lake. Okay, it's the most fabulous place, and it's known for Pulp Fiction. Yes. <laughs> where Vincent and Jules had to go meet the wolf, and actually, our wolf is sitting right next to us. Oh my gosh, <laughs> is he the wolf? Uh, it wasn't that like the cleaner too. Like, yeah, the- he was like the one who came up and cleaned up all the problems okay. that that Jules and Vincent got into. MJ and I had some car <laughs> trouble, and he, we're just gonna leave it at that. And he helped <laughs> us. We're not gonna talk about the car uh, trouble. We but- had car trouble. I think we. I think we have to. It's a little shameful because <laughs> damn it um, wait first of all uh chris kim ladies and gentlemen from, from faces, faces and aces. aces thank you so much for having me on okay so we do have to talk about the, how car I trouble got here because i got a phone call from you saying we're in toluca lake and we're having car trouble and suddenly i have to go into wolf mode <laughs> and rescue two pimps in toluca lake i love it oh, oh yeah yeah we pulled right into the parking lot we we're meeting we we're meeting at a uh, lemonade this is a very cool uh yellow and white white restaurant yes in california lots of good food yeah um i forgot you guys have bugs out here vegas you don't fly my nose <laughs> <laughs> little little gnats just flying around everywhere yes um, we are still keeping it casual outdoors because we've decided that we were stuffed up in a studio for too long and we want to be outside now <laughs> yeah be free set the girls free we're on the roll so we roll up in the parking lot right and the car just stalls and i'm like shit and when i left i remember calling my husband we had to take his big ass monster truck Nothing like driving around L.A. with a big-ass truck. <laughs> you get judged by all the Priuses. Oh, my God. It's not about that. It's like there's just no room for me. There's no room at all. <laughs> the narrow-ass streets of Los Angeles. Yeah, so we jump on the road and, and you know, to I was going to pick up Bree, and I call him. I'm like, ah, ma'am, babe, why is the... the the check engine lights on he's like oh yeah i gotta get get some oil change no big deal and so i called him right away i'm like the car just stole out it's because you didn't get oil change he's like he's like what like he's like did you put gas in it <laughs> nope <laughs> there was a full tank of gas when we left <laughs> now goes, in, you in, made it all the way from vegas to la with no ga- with one ticket of gas. <laughs> see now here's the thing in my little ass car i could make it all the way from vegas to here with and one back t- well, no, not back. I, I'm not that efficient yet. <laughs> Maybe that's where my mind was because yeah. it was a. He's got a V8, so yeah. you know. Yeah, you're yeah, like it's so a big enough engine. Yeah, I should have filled up in Victorville. I should have known the rules. Yeah, your car is like gobbling up gas. Like you could probably feed it smaller cars <laughs> to drive on. Like it's that, it's a big ass truck you got there. I know. So, <laughs> I, I should be like out in the wild without my husband, like a house cat. Like I'm just like not. I'm like he usually drives or usually takes care of this stuff. Like yeah, uh, I I thought I was just supposed to be nav guy. MJ was like, I get confused with the freeways. I was like, don't worry, girl, I got you. I can get us from Vegas to Hollywood, no problem. You know what I love it though is that you guys made it here exactly on one tank of gas. Like you ran out of gas just feet from a parking spot. <laughs> I, I rolled right in. I, oh god, I can't even. I was like, this is so embarrassing. And this guy comes up. He's like, hey, do you need help like pushing your car a little? And I said, yeah, our friend showed up. He's like, well, with jumper cables. I was like, I was too embarrassed to be like, no, we just ran out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> this is like I was telling Bruce, like this is the equivalent of like people that go to jail for like not paying a speeding ticket. Like it's just so stupid way to get stranded and be like in distress. <laughs> MJ's husband Chris said I get to play the adult for the rest of the trip. Tell Bree she's in charge. <laughs> yeah, I, I get to be in charge, and I'm not great at being in charge either. Um, so of course we call the wolf. We're like, oh yeah. Chris, I know you're on your way, but oh, totally. I'm 35 
five minutes. I'll be there in 14 minutes. Yeah, That's right. basically what he did. <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm in. He's like, I'm over here. And I was like, we're in Toluca Lake. We're at this one. And he's like, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm not in. The, I'll be leaving Studio City right now. I'll be there soon. <laughs> Who knew there was more lemonades? It's like, this is a place called Lemonade. Yeah, yeah, there are a couple. That's my bad. I totally own that one. I should have sent you a map. That's okay. Well, either way, the Pulp Fiction story of the wolf yeah, it worked out. It worked out. <laughs> because, of course, did he have jumper cables? Yes. Did he have a can <laughs> with gas, gas in it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he, had, he has, like, a whole setup for us. He was ready. <laughs> I live in L.A., man. I'm ready for the earthquake. They yeah. keep telling me that the big one's coming, so I got to get ready. He's got a storage unit just for, like, backup canned goods and supplies. <laughs> right? He's the one you want around you when the zombie apocalypse hits. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know yeah. quiet ways to kill zombies, so you want me on your team, too. Oh, yeah. t- nice. Team Team keeping it casual. <laughs> casual, that's right. Um, but, man, Chris has just been super cool, and one thing about Chris is that he loves Las Vegas. He loves more yep. lot. Las Vegas, maybe more than we love Las Vegas. Probably. probably knows more about it. And yep. you live here in Studio City, right? Or I do. I do live in Studio City. Oh, God, I love Studio uh, City. Um, but this is, but so we were like, this is going to be our, ep- we already got the name title. Yeah. You know, guest episodes, we always do a song title. Yeah. Do you want to take a guess? I bet he's going to guess it. I sure hope he I does. Bet you can. I mean, the easy one would be Viva Las Vegas. Exactly. Viva Las Vegas. We're uh-huh. going to give that one to you. Unless yeah. you have another one in mind. Unless something else pops up, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, what was uh, Katy Perry song? Waking Up in Vegas. That's what you get for waking up in Vegas. No, I'm not going to give it to Katy Perry. Nope. No. <laughs> no. 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 The king. No. One against two. No. All right, I'll go with the king. Go, go with, with the king. king. Go yeah, with no. the king. Not only that, but like when you think Vegas, you don't think Katy Perry. But when you think Vegas, you do think a little Elvis. Oh, definitely. That for was sure. good, though. Now I need to think of another Vegas song. Uh, More I, Vegas songs. There's one called know. Death in Vegas by Dirt. And there's oh. Leaving Las Vegas, Cheryl Crow. I'm and leaving Las okay. Vegas. All right. Now people listening are thinking of Vegas songs. Okay. Keep thinking. If they pop up randomly in your head tweet during, it. during a show. Yeah. Yeah. But, but like, us. seriously, tweet at us. Uh, uh, tweet at Chris. Tell him your Twitter. Yes. Uh, I'm at Faces and Aces LV. Yes. yes. Right. Look at him. He got LV in the title. Hell yeah. yeah. It's because you can't fit Faces and Aces Las Vegas in Twitter. <laughs> so you, you got to abbreviate somewhere. I should have went with FNA Las Vegas. So, oh, I like that. Can you can you tell people a little more about like what your show is about? So yeah. they wanna they wanna tune in. What you what you what you chatting about? Sure. Well, uh, the show is uh, stories from Vegas and also interviews from Vegas. So I basically ask someone to come on the show and tell me your crazy, wild, insane Vegas story. Ah. And then I take some little element from that story and I try to find a good pairing for it in Vegas. So mm-hmm. one episode, someone talked about visiting a strip club in Vegas. And so then I went to Vegas and interviewed a stripper to find <laughs> out what that life is like. Wait, what episode was that? What was it called? Oh, jeez. Oh, you have to listen to the catalog. Dive. That's a deep dive. That's a deep dive. Okay. Yeah. How well, long have you been doing podcasting? I've been doing this show for coming up on four years now. Four years. That's incredible. Yeah. But off and on. That's why I only have like about 60 episodes at this point Mm -hmm. because I take long breaks because it's really hard to put together these episodes. They take a long time. Well, you have a lot of research. Yeah. A lot of, you know, we're just keeping it casual. We're just talking about our lunch. So (laughs) keeping it casual, (laughs) listeners, here's your challenge. This is the only challenge we're going to throw out this episode. Mm -hmm. Go listen to all 60 of Chris's episodes. (laughs) No, do not listen to all 60. (laughs) Oh, don't. the titles and try to find the stripper episode. Yes. (laughs) Challenge. We're not giving you sex challenges or self-love challenges this right. episode there might be something really easy like stripping or something like that <laughs> you gotta like have vegas a- stripping or that's probably it vegas stripping also another episode to listen to chris is the one brie did yes yeah, oh, brie did sex one and of dating in vegas. sex and dating in vegas okay definitely listen to that one that's a good one yeah that's that bo- is a good episode that's the challenge the bonus challenge find the stripper episode yes <laughs> <laughs> listen to brie's episode which was also featured the girls from my worst date yes who are definitely a incredible Yep. Awesome, awesome girls. Yeah, yes, they're hilarious. They are. Yeah, that's a great podcast. And good people. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are. Yeah. yeah. So, um, all right. So now that you guys know where to find Chris, Faces and Aces LV, uh, go to Faces and Aces podcast. You ready to get into the our, getting to know you game? It's our favorite. Oh, let's yeah. do this. <laughs> let's do it. Yes. All right. So uh, you want to start or all I'll right. start? All right. Chris, what okay. is your sign? Cancer. 
Uh, oh, I love cancers. <laughs> we're talking about how we were just talking about our cancer friends on the way here. That's very random. Yes. Yeah, I'm the you sensitive one. Sensitive little souls. You know what though? I have cancer rising, so. Oh, nice. That's and a Scorpio cusp. As a Libra, I really shouldn't like water signs, but yeah. I have a soft spot for them because I have the cancer rising in the Scorpio cusp. But I am a Pisces, so and I'm yes. a water sign. Oh, yes. Nice. See, that's why I'm saying I have a soft spot for my water signs. Uh-huh. So you guys are soulmates of the okay. zodiac, though. Oh, nice. See, I always thought I always thought I was a Scorpio because I'm like so down to fuck. <laughs> I know, right? That's like everybody. Everybody thinks they're a Scorpio. Everybody wants to be a Scorpio. No, you they're don't. Like, oh, you're a Scorpio. Ooh. I, I, with the exception <laughs> of my last boyfriend, I only dated Scorpios, and I can tell you they suck as human beings. The British prick was a Scorpio. But the well, question we're is, not going to let him bed. ruin Scorpios for everybody, though. He, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but are the Scorpios good in bed? Whole... What? Scorpios are they good in bed? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they, it's like always. Always. Just always randomly always. They're crazy it depen- as Okay, it depends on what type of sex you're looking for, though. Like, <laughs> I dated a cancer, and if I wanted beautiful, romantic, loving sex, then yes, date a cancer or, or date a water sign if you want romance or a Libra like me. True. Except for I'm not a romantic Libra. Yeah. I'm like the most anti-romantic person ever. I'm like, take me to Taco Bell and let's watch Pulp Fiction and oh, we go. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna buy me flowers, make sure they're black. <laughs> Next, Next question. One. Okay. Um, what makes you a bad roommate? What would be like one of your worst qualities with somebody as having to live with you as a roommate? Um, you're a single guy all of a sudden, and yeah. you're somebody's roommate. They're like, dude, do you have to keep? <laughs> yeah. I would be the bad roommate because I like things like they don't have to be clean, but they got to be tidy. I hate <laughs> shit sitting around. Yeah. Oh, you and, and MJ both. Yes. Yeah, and I would be fucking on people all the time. Dude, clean that shit up. That's what makes me a bad roommate. I'd be like, dude, will you clean your shit up? I like if I'm sitting on the couch and like like something is out of place, I'm just kind of thrown somewhere. There's anything. It's like I can't I can't relax. I'm like. I- that's why I wouldn't let you into my house this morning. She was like, can I come in? I gotta be all like, no, it's a fucking pig's tie in here. You cannot come in my house. I was not people ready. I would have like started cleaning. She'd be like, we gotta go. We gotta go. No, you can't come in and shut the fucking refrigerator door. That, we talked about that in one episode. I seem to leave the fridge open all the time because it's just, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I had an automatic swing shut one. Yeah. Like probably once. Yeah. And see, like I get so mad with my roommates and stuff if they are non-energy efficient because if you can imagine the power bills in vegas are kind of expensive yeah i can imagine yeah <laughs> yeah you know in the middle of the desert you got a air conditioned a two-story house yeah <laughs> you know. but i think that's like a woman thing because i follow my wife around the house all the time just turning off lights behind her no see i i no, it's it, it's not me i will go around and turn off oh, okay. all the lights and shut the refrigerators and see yeah. my roommates have this thing where they'll leave the door open to go out to our smoking area and just leave it open and i'm like uh, are we like- air conditioning the outdoors shut the fucking door <laughs> <laughs> okay mom I do the same thing. I don't know why I leave it open. I'm mostly so I can hear the kids, but I don't know. I just don't want to. I want to feel like I'm still <laughs> like hanging you're out. Still in. <laughs> so that's why we wouldn't be good roommates because I'm very messy. Like I, I will yeah. leave my purse on the dining room table and I'll get to it when I get to it. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna do Vegas getting to know you questions. Okay. What are your favorite places to gamble and why? Uh, favorite place to gamble would be Planet Hollywood Ooh. because they treated me really well there one time. And um, by treating well, I was sitting at a $25 table and I was easily not the, the high roller at the table. There were guys betting like stacks uh-huh. of green chips, stacks of black chips, and I was a low roller. For some weird reason, one guy, I got under one guy's skin and he started throwing racial epithets at me. Oh. The pit boss would not have that good, shit happen. Good. He booted oh, no. a high roller from the table. Fuck Get the yeah. fuck out of here. Yeah. Which is one of those really rare occasions where money did not win in Vegas. Yeah. And so for that reason, I will always enjoy playing at Planet Hollywood. Nice. Cool. That's, uh, yeah, that's just like people like, don't be, you can't be a nasty bully. I don't care no. what your status is or how much you yeah. are making or rolling with right now. You don't treat people like that. That's ignorance. But you know ugly. Vegas. Yeah. Like, people can beat on a woman in Vegas and get away with uh, it if they're a big enough high roller. That's true. Planet Hollywood has a really cool comedy club up by the V Theater. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They got Brad. That's Britney's house. That is. Uh, not that's right. Gwen, J-Lo. Yeah. That's all yeah. their houses. Yes, yeah. Pitbull. And you know what? I like that the, the shops there. 
The Miracle Mile shops? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. go to all the, the I'm mall. I'm like, totally just drawing a blank, like shopping. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never made it to that corner of the casino. Well, yeah. speaking of that, what is yeah. your game? What games do you play? I like blackjack. You're a blackjack man? Yeah. Do you find, do you like it because it's more strategic? Oh, no, no. I just know what I'm doing. I could play it like a robot without having to give much thought. Yeah. And that allows me to have conversations with other, with other people at the table. All 16. Right. Depends on what the dealer has. Hit or stay. It depends on what the dealer <laughs> has. What's the dealer showing? My dad used to be a a pit boss mm -hmm. so he knows how to count cards so when i first played a table he took me to a blackjack table and i walked away with a bunch of money what nice. <laughs> god nice how are you not doing that every day then i know because you know what's funny is we actually thought about my dad being a professional gambler because he has a very good poker face too and he know he knows most dads oh yeah but but <laughs> like my dad was a pit boss so he knows all the games uh -huh. he, he started dealing I think Gow is originally what he started dealing, and then he moved up. The only thing he's tried to take me to do that I didn't understand was play craps. I was like, what the, oh, what the fuck? No. What, what is this game? Yeah. This is way too complicated. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so we, we talked to, about him becoming a professional gambler, and he's like, I'll bring in a lot of money, but there will be days that I will lose a lot of money too, so. I think you can only, like, successfully be a professional gambler if you have somebody that. Knows it. So, well, no, it's yeah. somebody that banks you. Yeah. Like, you're not playing with your own money. Being yeah. a professional gambler. Oh, yeah, money. like so, no. like a sugar daddy to be a professional gambler? Oh, yeah. That, and then also you have to have all the patience in the world. That's yeah. really what breaks people. That's what broke me. I can sit at a table for a good three, four-hour stretch, but the people who are counting cards can do it for eight to ten hours, yep. and they know when the shoe is hot and when to bet, and yep. I don't have that kind of patience. I don't have that kind of energy. My uh, my favorite's like roulette. I'm like, let's go. See, I like roulette, too, <laughs> just because I'm like, or, or Kino, I'm like, I'll pick all my favorite numbers, and then something will hit. <laughs> I, I turn into like a Jewish grandma when I gamble. <laughs> I never knew what Kino was until we were like sitting at a diner one night and he's like, you want to play Kino? I'm like, what is this? Like bingo with numbers? I don't understand. Oh my God. Have you guys tried bingo? Yeah. Uh, my grandma took me to play bingo on my 21st birthday. That is the one gambler gambling game everybody yes. should know. No, but did, I mean, did you do the, uh, the with the dot? With I did it with things? the dauber. I can't keep up with that show. Right? That is the most stressful shit and ever. And you see these little old ladies with like 15 cards in yeah. front of them? Okay. It, you know what? It's all electronic. So whether they're dead they like to dab it to do to be fun, yeah, but really right. they've probably bought sixty cards, and it's basically you could just sit there. Well, no, it's you so got to buy the electronic thing to keep track for you. Yeah. If you don't buy that, you're sitting there with your little inker card trying to find the N sixty four. And that's and, and that's what my grandma did. But yeah. like she she was like she bought herself the electronic ones, and then she made me get the book and where I had to find <laughs> N thirty two or whatever. And she was like, and you're looking across twenty cards yeah. trying to find them all. And she she ended up just like she took over my little dauber and started doing it for me yeah i had to retire from that, bingo it was um, too stressful i am um, i retired from calling bingo i used to work in long-term care for five and a half years so i used to have to call bingo every monday wednesday and friday and i will never do it again <laughs> you know what I, would. you know what's so funny because when we did i i remember playing it with one of um one of my aunts and she was it was like at an older an older home and they would say yeah. like b22 or b they would all go two two or what <laughs> <laughs> no, they had like funny little things they did for some of the numbers oh no yeah. see yeah, my, at my bit. home yeah. they didn't do that they were like what number did you call <laughs> b12 yeah. that was me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they ended up upgrading me because i used to have to just call out the numbers and like everybody was deaf so i was like i need a microphone <laughs> And I, I was like, buy me a karaoke machine so they can hear me because I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I got my machine. <laughs> and there was a new night at the seniors' home. <laughs> karaoke <laughs> night at the seniors' home. That thanks to Marie. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're up. What uh, you got for it? Okay, so if you had to take a Vegas performance class, mm -hmm. what would you do? Would you do hoop, trapeze, or pole dancing? Oh, pole dancing, easy. <laughs> yes! That's the most fun out of those Planet three. Hollywood has a cl has a pole 101 class. Stripper oh, nice. 101? Yes. yes, I used to work there. Nice. Yep. I actually did. I learned how to properly spin around a pole on one of my episodes. Did you? Yeah. I did, yeah. Uh, did the stripper teach you this? Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. That's okay, we've already honed in the episodes you need to go to. Yes. Faces and aces. <laughs> did you live 
podcast you tried to learn how to pole dance because that would have been great. Well, I did do. Yeah, I had a <laughs> mic lapel mic attached to me, so the sound oh, isn't that great. But no, yeah, it's, I love it's it. There, yeah. You twirled on with the, on the mic on oh, the yeah. podcast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wasn't like in oh a club God. or nothing. Like people were people didn't make it rain on was me it or in nothing. Her, but pole, her, her garage pole. It was at the uh, pole fitness one. studio. <laughs> oh, well, oh, Fania. Fania's, yeah. Oh my gosh! Back when I first started teaching pole and cardio striptease, she was the first pole dance teacher, and I right. taught cardio striptease, and I started, you know, anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah, world's first pole dance teacher. Yeah. that's how she's bringing it. That's right. I, um, Vegas across from the palms. That's I right. met Fania because I was doing a event. Uh, I was doing a red carpet event for Fifty Shades of Grey when I was selling sex toys. We did um, when the first movie came out. We did a huge red carpet movie premiere, and I met her at Divas Day Out. And I was like, hey, look, I'm doing this event. Do you want to help sponsor it? And she was like, here, here's a bunch of free classes. Just put them in your bag. And I was like, hell yeah. And then I gave her free tickets to the event. And that's how I met her. That's uh, awesome. Fanya will be coming on the podcast. Yes, she, she will. Dear oh, nice. friend. And um, nice. we, we got to make sure we get her out there. That's funny. It's See, yeah. look at you. You live out here. You know all our people. I mean, this Vegas is, is Vegas is a very small town. For it being it such a, a big city, city, Vegas is a small mm-hmm. town. Very mm-hmm. small town. That's yeah. why dating there sucks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we do have some Vegas trivia. A couple more getting to know you. So okay. uh, we wanted to know something you'd outgrow by now, but you really haven't. Something you thought you'd outgrow by now, but haven't. Something in Vegas? Just What's anything. In general. Oh, yeah. in general. We're back to uh, regular getting to know you. Oh, prob- probably <laughs> like bouncing. superhero movies. Oh. So, <laughs> like I totally thought I'd be, I'm like a f- almost 50 years old and I'm still digging on Spider-Man movies. <laughs> you know what though? So you're those... like excited for the new one. You're like, oh, hell yes. yes. Oh, Spider-Man Far From Home. I can't wait. <laughs> but you know what though? Like I watched the um, the preview obviously that was on the Super Bowl for uh, Avengers, Avengers Infinity or whatever. Avengers 2. Final. No, 3. Three, four, four, three, four. Whatever. Yes, yeah, yeah, the yeah. next Avengers movie. And I was like, shit. But I can't wait for Captain Marvel because Brie Larson is one of my favorite actresses. She, yeah. Okay, she was amazing. And I saw her when she first started that United States United of States Terra. She was yes. the daughter. She was the yes. sassy little blonde daughter. She had so much fire and personality. And she, she was just gorgeous. Cool. Yeah. And Never saw the show. No. Uh, I Showtime. know about it, but Yeah. The mom yeah. had schizophrenia. Right, yeah. right. It's just funny supporting actors. And, and, and Aiden yeah. from Sex and the City was. Yes. Oof. Love him. He was. What is his name? Jeff something? Nobody I don't know. Knows. He's always, a- he'll be Aiden forever. He, he's delightful <laughs> to look at. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff uh, Corbin, I think is his name actually. John Corbin. John Corbin. Yeah. See, Corbin. See, <laughs> figured out somehow. Yes. We did not Google that. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are you binge watching right now then? <laughs> I'm binge watching a TV show called Kim's Convenience. And um, for the people out there who don't know who I am, I'm also Korean. (laughs) So this show is a show about a Korean convenience store owner in Canada. And I'm laughing because I've been like binging through season one, just started season two, and suddenly now Netflix thinks I'm like way into Asian content and it's like recommending <laughs> everything that they have Asian to me every time I turn on Netflix. And I love the way that they try to blame that shit on me. It's like, because you watched Kim's Convenience, you're gonna like this Asian show. And oh I'm my like, God. <laughs> like deep, deep in the like independent oh God. Uh, I Korean hate it. films. Yeah, like, like all the K-dramas are showing up now. I'm like, I have no interest in this. They're like, do you like K-pop? <laughs> <laughs> Netflix is like, their algorithms are just on point though. I don't know. A like, lot of their, a lot of their, I actually just watched something or listened to something where they were, it was talking about the Netflix algorithms yeah. and the way they make their shows is by their algorithm database. So, like, their hit shows and their hit movies yeah. is, honestly, it's by their algorithm database. And they look at what people are watching. Oh, well, they like a dark comedy with this, 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 so we'll put all these elements into this. <laughs> and boom, here you go. But, like, if Netflix were an actual human, they would be way racist. That's be true. Like- <laughs> <laughs> they can be. That's what an algorithm is. It's like, I am honing into your stereotypical exactly. ways. Exactly. Yeah. Like, all of your, you know... <laughs> It really is. Netflix just recommends, like, the trashiest TV to me because I, like, binge-watched Riverdale, and it's like, now you want to watch Pretty Little Liars and Gossip Girl and, and this Sabrina and that. And, yeah. and I'm like, I do not want to watch Gossip Girl. I already did that. <laughs> you know what? That always pisses me off when you have separate profiles from yeah. somebody, and they'll, like, go on. Maybe YouTube will do it, or, like, if you go on, like... Oh, yeah! And, and somebody else, you're like... I'm like, why am I getting slasher, like, serial killer movie? I'm like, Chris, did you rewind my Netflix? Like, mine's, like, like a girly stuff, yeah. you know? Right, like, right. I don't know. No, I'm with you there. It's like, you <laughs> fucked up my whole system. I'm 
your yeah. new profile. You fucked my <laughs> algorithms up. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, last question. We'll do some uh, Vegas trivia. Are okay. you more likely to be early or late? I'm typically early, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but circumstances constantly make me late. <laughs> Sounds like a late person to me. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not the kind of circumstances where, like, I got up late and this shit like that. I usually will get to places 30 minutes early and bust out with my computer and just work to be, you know, for people to uh, come. Ah. But, like, like today, like, uh, like yeah. when, when we, you and I met, I went to the wrong place. And today, or, we went to the wrong place. Apparently, yeah, yeah. Chris came we both <laughs> met in L.A. I mean, we both met in Vegas downtown. We were I, I was late, <laughs> and that was because someone I was accommodating was late. And ah. So there was a chain reaction on that one. Yeah. So I, I like that's a pet peeve of mine. I hate showing up late. I, oh, I yeah. hate it. Yeah. Okay. I See, know. I feel like an asshole, but I know I'm always late, and my friends are just used to it. It's, like it's a conscious thing. Even, I have to work on. Even it is conscious. This morning like, we were, you were like, late. I'm gonna be at your house at seven, and I was like, she's not gonna be here till seven thirty. I'm good. Seven forty five. Hey, girl. And see, I was fine with that because I, I knew. I knew. Well, we knew. Tom talking to each other like we had to aim high i was like we're gonna leave at 5 a.m <laughs> and i was like no we're not <laughs> <laughs> we, we're like we're like doing our little day in and out trip so we wanted to make sure we had a full day yeah, we'll leave yeah. tomorrow but yeah. um uh let's play some motherfucking trivia okay. yes you ready for the vegas yeah. vegas trivia, trivia. Yeah, okay what you got first question what year was las vegas founded uh, <laughs> <laughs> wild guess. I okay. You won't know this. This is this is. I'm just gonna give you a really hi- a hint that's not gonna help you at all. But yeah. um, the year of our centennial was the year I graduated high school. Shoot, I know Vegas just like had a big big birthday recently. I'll say whatever 75 years ago was. No. Nope. 1905. 1905. Honestly, I said in the truck, I was like, I don't know, 1940? And I was like, <laughs> no, that's not right, because I went to the centennial, and that was like, okay, so we had a big centennial in 2005, yeah. the year I graduated high school, yeah, yeah. and our mayor got to play this centennial celebration, the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Weezer, and it was a free concert wow. at Sam Boyd Stadium. Wow. And I was there. By the way, all the listeners at home are like, motherfucker, she said Centennial. Buzzing out with 75 years. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, so, that's yeah. true. I did say Centennial. I said our Centennial <laughs> celebration was the year I graduated high school. Oh. That's a, I didn't know. But you know what? You can we're gonna, uh, you can use this trivia that we curated for uh, your next guest. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. okay, so we're going to pass this along. 1905. I got it. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Who was the mob lawyer who later became Las Vegas is mayor. That's Oscar Goodman. Yes. yes. And now his wife is our mayor. That's right. Yes, she Carolyn is. Goodman. I have her um I have her her business card which is a poker chip. When mm-hmm. I met her, yeah, she has oh, a little poker cool. chip. And uh, Vivian found it. She's like, Mommy, is this you? Because she's got blonde hair. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's like a cartoon blonde <laughs> picture of her like on the poker chip. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, screw you. <laughs> I am not her. I mean, it'd be cool to be the mayor. It, well, it's not It's not about who she was. It's about what she looked like to my daughter. So I was like, yeah. um, <laughs> she's like, any blonde mom, is this you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ask any blonde lady this to excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Are you my mother? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so which casino do they run in the movie Casino? Like, you know the movie Casino with Joe Pesci? What's the casino that that's based off of? The do you know? Era. Yes. yes. And did you know, fun fact, Oscar Goodman played himself in that movie? I did. Mm-hmm. I did know mm-hmm. that. Well, wow, I'm kind him. of impressed with myself. I know a thing or two. I yes, know. you do. Yes, I know. Okay, okay. What is illegal in Clark County but is practiced in other counties in Southern Nevada? Okay, I feel like this is entrapment. No, it is exactly um, what you think it is, I'm sure. This is entrapment because if I know the answer to this, then that means I looked into it. Uh, the answer is prostitution. Yeah. Yes, it is. Fun fact, um, good old Dennis Hoff was voted in governor or whatever. He, he was voted into office after he died. That's he right. died, and then they had election day, and they fucking voted him in in Nye County. Yep. Fun show, though. It was on HBO. Oh, Cat, Cat House. House. Yeah. Yes. I saw Cat House. I was all about Air I mean, Force, Amy. I mean, it was- <laughs> it was like the total, like, you know, the, the was it the Bunny Ranch? Was it called the Cherry It was patch? the Moonlit Bunny Ranch. Yeah. The Moonlight Bunny Ranch. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple out there. Okay, but, so, yeah. like, that place closed down, and my goal is to, like, own it and reopen it, because Dennis Hoff didn't leave it to anybody. So those girls who were working there, like, I guess they had to go to other brothels. I don't know. <laughs> but I was like, when it happened, it, they went to school. I remember he- Find a family member and go home. 
I remember he died right before my birthday and I got drunk at my birthday party. I bet you, you don't even remember this, but I had a full on conversation about how I was going to buy the Moonlit Bunny Ranch and run it. I think I'd be a good madam. I'd take care of my girls. I would not let you do I would be like, I am not let you. Would be, I would be there like turning them all away. What are you doing here? <laughs> That's what happens every time I go to a strip club. I end up talking to a girl and I'm either talking to her about like, what's her side hustle or like, why is she at this shitty club and she should be at a better club? You're like, get your ass in the Sapphire's girl. Friend, I'm like, what you doing? Like, we gotta, we gotta upgrade this somehow. <laughs> this is not a good life. Okay, so last Vegas trivia question: Who is the Las Vegas entertainer who lives in Casa de Shenandoah because he no longer owns it? Oh, that's Wade Newton. Yes, yeah. it is. We've been there. Have yes, you? we've been there. We What's went it to- like? It, okay, okay. <laughs> it's a, it's a big like property. Mo- it's a monstrous property. There's like a half of a plane on there. Yeah. There's go karts. There's um, what are the peacocks? Peacocks. There's peacocks just walking around Whoa. who sound like they sound like cats in heat. Yeah, they sound terrible. They they were like yeah. I and they would like ju- like jump from the roof to the ground. It was yeah. it yeah, the peacocks, but the house itself not that impressive. Dude, we went to the uh, an NSPCA event there yeah. and um it was really yeah, the house was different. You did have a panic room, and, you know, it was yeah. neat, but it was a very small house. On yeah. This huh. Ginormous Giant. property. Yeah, I walked into the house, and I was just kind of like, meh. But it, like, it stemmed, uh, like, the Vegas girl in me, and it made yeah. me very happy. Yeah, like, right. I'm in Wayne Newton's house right yeah. now. Like, right. Vegas vacation was, yeah. like, right there. I was like, the couch. Yeah, I was like, Ellen and Wayne were eating pasta right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was it was cool, though. But. I always imagined it to be, like, Neverland Ranch, like this big, That's giant That's how I thought it was, too, because it's just huge. But it's a lot of, because, um, you know, he, he has a bunch of horses. So mm. it's a lot of horse property. That's mm. why the property is so big. So his horses can, what? I don't know. And uh. anybody can go now. It's like a museum. It's very preserved. Yeah, you can go on right. tours there. Yeah, right. it was it was fun. So, right. ooh, okay. Are you ready for yeah. the, next, the next segment? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. This is our final segment, but okay. this should be a lot of fun. All right. Rapid fire Vegas questions. Okay. So I'm... we're all going to get into this. We'll all answer a little bit. Yes. Okay. Um, three movies involving Vegas. Go. Oh, I'm going first? Yeah. Vegas Vacation. Uh-huh. Oh, three. Okay. Three. <laughs> I thought you were going going around. Okay. Oh, Vegas, vaca- Vegas Vacation, <laughs> Casino, and uh, Fool's Rush In. Oh, Fool's, Fool's Rush, Rush In. Is that from Chandler? S- yeah, and no. Sam Hayek. <laughs> I love that. I love that movie. I, I forgot remember, about that one. I remember that movie. He got, Vegas movie. yeah, they were in Vegas. He came out here to open a club, and she she and her family lived out here. Yeah, out here in L.A. Yeah. I'm so used to being home. Right. He, he went out to Vegas to oh, um, well, That was a, a deep club. pull. I have no that idea where that came from. That was a deep pull. That was good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I could have gone Viva Las Vegas. I could have gone. Shh. You oh, did the oh, way. Okay. We got, we got the rest of our. Uh, okay. Go. go. Okay. Go. God damn it. He took Vegas vacation. Uh, and casino. Um, <laughs> showgirls. I got showgirls. <laughs> Two nice. more. Showgirls. Come on. Uh, um, Viva Las Vegas. I'm just taking it because uh, he <laughs> stole, you stole two of mine. <laughs> and. Leaving Las Vegas, there is a movie Ooh. Oh, with Nicolas Cage. Yes, okay, another oh, Nicolas Cage movie. Yeah. Yes. Um, Honeymoon in Vegas. Ha- Ooh, oh, nice. there you go. Was that with Nicolas Cage? And Sarah Jessica Parker was in it. I know that. Uh, yeah, H- Honeymoon in Vegas. One of my all-time favorites, Very Bad Things. They came oh, to Vegas. Right. They killed the stripper. Yes. So good. Yes. And Karma comes back. Oh, my God. Great movie. Um, oh, oh, and uh, shit. I just had another one. Why are you doing this to me? I don't know. That's how I felt, too. Oh, we were like, we were on in the car. We were like, we got this. While we we're on the way here, like, prepping for the show. We're like, we, we've got this. We've I mean, to be this. fair. Oh, the Hangover. Nice. The hangover. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That was a weak one. I to be fair, my last episode was about Vegas movies. You <laughs> Do you have any more? Wait, um, way. Boy, I had a list of 20 of them that we went through. I can't get, like think of them at the moment, but like I think that's where Fool's Rush- Rushing came in. That's Probably. funny. Yeah. That's the, hangover. the Hangover wasn't weak, though, because I couldn't even think of it, and neither did he. We were all like, um... I know, like, shit. We could have been like Hangover have, 1, Hangover 3. Yeah, we, we uh, might as well have been like, does Caesar really live here? Because like, <laughs> I, I, that's what most people know about Vegas, you know? It's the Hangover, <gasps> yeah. Oh, oh, okay, a good one. What was that movie about the Facebook hustlers? Not the Facebook hustlers. Uh, tw- kids, 21. 21. 21. 21. Oh, yeah. The true story about the MIT card the counting MIT students card counting that came and took Vegas That was a millions. good one. Oh, my right. God. Please see it. Okay. And watch Showgirls because... Because, <laughs> because why not? Because Elizabeth Ger- Berkeley doing the overdramatic um, water sex in a jac- scene. Yeah. Sex in a jacuzzi? Come on. I love it. It's I so love, bad. I love her on the dance where everything was like, ha, 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 
I love Versace. <laughs> Gina Davis, she's like, you got good tits. <laughs> oh, what a movie. Okay. Okay. All right. So right. this is also good. If you are have been to Vegas, maybe you are thinking of coming to Vegas, we're going to drop some of our favorite spots. So, yes. Okay. You, you ask the next one. Three downtown hot spots. Downtown cocktail room. Good one. Downtown grand. Uh-huh. And pizza rock. Oh, I love pizza Ooh, rock. Okay. Okay. I got... Um, Commonwealth is pretty dope. Commonwealth. Backstage bar and billiards. It's a great place to see a lot of live yep. music and a lot of local yep. local music. Um, and I always love um, I always love Mickey Finn's. Mickey Finn's is cool because it's um, it's right there. It, it's got a little fire pit outside when you're walking by. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, for food. So that's a good. And sometimes they have live music. Yes, so. they do. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give it to Park on Fremont because I love yes! the drinks and Shit. the eats there. And you can go in the back and go on the seesaw. Yeah, yeah. Oddfellows yeah. because it is my favorite bar. They have Ouija boards in the middle of the table Dude. and a secret bookcase that leads you to the dance floor. Yes, they do karaoke on Tuesday there God, I love and that. i've got to get out give it up to the first bar i ever went to underage snuck in the beauty bar gotta oh. give it up to beauty bar lv oh okay then i gotta bring it back for a second uh don't forget the gold spike is it very oh, cool? I'm banned from the gold yeah, spike. Yeah, Bree's banned, but honestly, like giant Jenga and games, it's a very cool hipster spot. Right, yes. Right. But I met my husband on Fremont Aww. downtown at Hogs and Heifers. Oh, nice. Hogs and Heifers is a good one. <laughs> I, I wouldn't go there, but I saw him sitting at the bar, so I did saunter in. But yeah. that's you're story, like, who's that, babe? That story one day later. <laughs> um, but yeah, do love downtown. Yeah, so downtown's got a lot of cool gems. Yeah. Downtown's fantastic. Yeah. I think it's often overlooked by visitors. Mm-hmm. I, if, you, if you've never been to downtown, if, you're, if you've never been to Vegas and you've never been to downtown, definitely go check it out. Make it one yes. day. Yeah, it saves some money because it's not, you can wear what the fuck you want. A lot yeah. of guys, especially women, if you're out here to meet guys, and you're going to meet some yeah. bougie, douchey guys in the dance clubs on the strip. Like yeah. straight up because you have to get dressed up in the collared shirt and the dress shoes. You got to wear the whole outfit. In mm-hmm. Fremont, they can just be themselves. Bar hop, live yeah. music. Yeah, and honestly, like, if you want more, like, of a... Fremont East is where you're more, like, hipster vibe. That's mm-hmm. where Zappos went in and cleaned it all up. So if you want to feel like you're in Brooklyn or, like, Silver Lake or whatever... Like Soho. Soho, yeah. You know, that's where you uh, that's where you got your hipsters. Hell yeah. You ready for the next one? Yep. Hey, what's up? It's MJ. And Bree. Guess what? We're doing a Keeping It Casual swag giveaway. The last Wednesday of every month. And we're also getting you into the very first Keeping It Casual live this spring. (laughs) All you have to do is go to iTunes, subscribe, rate, and review, or follow us on Instagram. Also, put us into your Instagram stories and let us know that you're listening. That way you can be entered into some of our pop-up giveaways. We look forward to hearing from you. Woohoo! Three strip clubs in Vegas. Go. Wow. Um, I want to go OG, but I know they're gone. That don't oh, matter. Okay. Say it. That was my first strip OG. club. <laughs> <laughs> that was my Cheetahs. First and uh, God, I really don't want to say it, but uh, Little Darlings. Oh. <laughs> that oh. place. Okay, so I spent my 18th birthday at Little Darlings. <laughs> Legally, you can't. Legally, you can. Nude. It is yeah. fully nude, no alcohol. Yeah, I spent my 18th birthday there. I ran into two classmates <laughs> who had dropped out of school. and uh, Dancing? Th- yeah. They dropped out of school. They turned 18. And then I just noticed they weren't at school anymore. I didn't know anything about it. I was like, oh, well, whatever. They're 18. They just dropped out. But I ran into both of them on my 18th birthday, and they were both at Little Darlings dancing. Yes. One actually became a very famous suicide girl. Oh, wow. Um, Oh. Yes. Very beautiful girl. I don't know what happened. I don't think. Are suicide girls still a thing? I don't know. They were pretty viral for a minute there. They were. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know what she's doing now. I don't know what either of them Who's are doing of their now. PR? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, they're probably still a thing, but we just don't know. Like pussycat dolls. Like, I'm sure they're still pussycatting dolling somewhere. <laughs> Nicole <laughs> Schwarzinger <laughs> is doing stuff, but I mean, yeah. I don't know about the rest of them. Nobody knows any of the other girls' names. Like, Carmen Electra was in there somewhere, somehow. Yeah. She started, like, the burlesque part of it, and then they made a group. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I weirdly, I know a few things about the history of the Pussycat Dolls. A thing or two about a thing or two. Yes. Okay. No. Okay. So Little Darlings. Oh, Little Darlings. Okay. So I can't say Little Darlings. So I'm going to say, I'm trying to think of Sherry's Cabaret. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Um, Deja Vu. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And Spearmint Rhino. Okay. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Say, say right now, Spearmint Rhino is like the top spot to go. Really? For like straight up, mm-hmm. like I have some really good friends that work there still, but mm-hmm. straight up badass pole dancers, like nice. 
The hustle is fierce there, though. Good music. It's a good yeah. after-hours club. Um, Sapphire's, of course, world's largest Sapphire. strip club. I work there. Uh, yeah. A lot of good people there. They yeah. have a pool. I mean, right. it's fun. Right. Sapphire's is a lot of They do a crazy good, good Super Bowl party, too. Yep. Dollar lap dances. Yeah. Really? Yep. I remember never going on Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was like, I'm not working tonight. Yeah. Dollar lap dances during halftime. I was like, I'm out. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Um, so what did I say? Uh, Sapphire. Sapphire. Oh, all right. Crazy Horse. I got my first yeah. first lap dance at Crazy Horse when Ooh. I first came to Vegas. I got a, Ooh. yeah, I remember my friends took me to Crazy Horse. And there was a very fun club called, uh, oh, I don't Glitter know. Glitter Gulch? Like, Treasures, but uh, oh, treasures! Seamless. Gold. It was across from the Orleans. Used Aww. to be Club Paradise. It used to be a lot yes. of clubs. Now it's now it's just a regular club. I think. R.I.P. Glitter Gulch. That was the <laughs> yeah. the one on Fremont. The one on Fremont. They closed that down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Vegas a, Vic and Vegas Vicky. Yeah. I, I heard that that was where the B like the D list team went to go dance. Yeah, as uh, Jeff from Jeff Does Vegas says, he called it uh, not a whole lot of glitter, but a whole lot of Gulch. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. Yeah. I never went in there. I always just like walked past it and Any, I liked the sign. Anything oh. that said glitter's cool but gulch? Like it's just like <laughs> what's going on in there? There's like sounds like there's donkey shows. I don't know. It just doesn't sound Are we in <laughs> Tijuana right now? Yeah. Or are we in yeah, okay. It was really <laughs> really so, sketchy. The so bonus? do you want to ask the bonus? Okay, bonus strip club question. What's the only club where you can drink and is also fully nude in Vegas? Oh, man, I know this. It's next to <laughs> Chicas Bonitas. <laughs> oh, I do know this because they were grandfathered in. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which, by the way, is a horrible term. That sounds like a terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and fun fact, men and women dance there, too. Yeah, yeah they the do. Only, like, only place oh, you can God, see the, full the, Monty. Oh, <laughs> I hated it. I went, there, I went there for to go see the men's dance one night, and I left very traumatized. And guys go to strip clubs, they feel gratitude. Girls go, we feel, like, violated. We're like, whoa. <laughs> he, like, picked me up and flipped me around. Okay. Do you, do you know the answer yet, or do you want remember. us to say it? I can't remember. Please the tell me. Palomino. Palomino. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I totally forgot. In one of the worst parts of town. Yeah, it is. It's not worth the drive, even yeah. for the alcohol. I mean, Just get drunk. You know what? Just here's the, here's the only way it would be worth the drive. If you go to Jerry's Nugget across the street and eat their delicious prime rib, or their Mm -hmm. uh, steak and lobster tail dinner and then you're (laughs) like man I really want to go to a strip club but I don't feel like walking in or I don't feel like driving back no, but that's, industrial. You can go to the Palomino. <laughs> no, but that's the thing with strip clubs. You don't have to drive to strip clubs. You just get yourself to the strip, and yeah. a limo will take you there for free. I oh, know. yeah, that's true. Fun yeah. fact, any strip club will give you a free limo and pick you up and take you back. If yeah. you are staying in the strip, you just call the strip club, call like Sapphire's call. They'll send a car for you. Yeah, they will. Yeah. And you know why? You know why? I do. Because uh, I don't work for either of them, so uh, it's because the taxi drivers get kickbacks. Every time they drop off a customer, how many times have you gotten in a cab and you said you want to go somewhere specific, and they try to recommend somebody somewhere else exactly tourists beware oh maybe just uber because these are just regular people with yeah if somebody if i was driving (laughs) uber and somebody was like take me to sapphires i wouldn't be like you should go to little darlings i'd be like i cool yeah (laughs) no but the uber people are in on it now too are they yeah they they found out yeah they get the kickbacks too which is why the strip clubs it's cheaper for them to just send their own driver for you Uh than to have pay kickbacks to all the cabs and uber which is a limo because then they will also get you in for free because they're saving money like yeah they give twenty dollars a head for every pro oh we're spilling some vegas tea I feel like this is like magician secrets. We shouldn't right. share. It's like, oh, fuck them. Whatever. Yeah. you got to tell this to your Vegas people or yeah. anybody visiting. You know what's funny? As I, um, one night I went to Sapphire's with my ex-boyfriend and he was there already and I had to come in like by myself and the bouncer at the door was like, you realize this is a gentleman's club, right? And I was like, yes, and I'm going to meet my gentleman right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies, you can't just walk up in a strip club. No. You have to have an escort because otherwise they look at you like you're some kind of hooker just walking in for the yeah. big buffet. And I was like jeans and like you know i wasn't even dressed <laughs> nice or anything like i was on the hunt i was yeah. just like yeah my boyfriend's in there they're like street hooker can't come in <laughs> i love the way that you said that though madam you do realize like he's got a monocle and a top hat on standing there at the door <laughs> no but he did say that he was like you do realize this is a gentleman's club right and i was like you don't know the rules <laughs> what if i had a penis <laughs> yeah right <laughs> you don't know <laughs> i've got my kid to get a <laughs> 
talking and I was like, oh, this is my first night here. <laughs> and you come in the back door. <laughs> they didn't tell me that. <laughs> Everybody knows you only exit through the back because they have, um, they make you valet because these girls are leaving with a lot of cash. Good. So they Take make sure that girls. you have an escort, you know, yeah. or you just valet. They're like, you stand here. We'll put yeah. your car up to you. Yeah. I have some friends who still, who still dance there and yeah. they, they say like Sapphires takes very good care of them. I do too. Yeah. yeah. Sapphires and Rhino, I have friends that work there. Yeah. And, um, yeah, very cool. Okay. Ready? Next question. Mm-hmm. Three strip hotspots. Three strip hotspots. Strip. Yep. Strip official. Strip official. Strip official. Okay. Highlighting it, what a fuddy-duddy I am. And I specifically use the word fuddy-duddy to really <laughs> highlight what a fuddy-duddy I am. Um, shoot. It doesn't have to be like clubs or anything. No, just like places on the strip that, that you, you would tell somebody to go. Yeah, like restaurants or whatever. Okay. Um one of them would definitely be uh, what's his name? Gordon, one of Gordon Ramsay's restaurants. Oh, like okay. He can cook the Planet Hollywood one. Uh, burgers, all right, and fish and chips is all right. Yeah. But Hell's Kitchen, I hear, is really great. Oh, at Caesars, yeah. And uh, his steakhouse over at Paris is phenomenal. Okay. Mm-hmm. So okay. check out a Gordon Ramsay because a man knows how to cook. All right. Um, He's Another so hot angry. spot that I would check out. Go to the chandelier bar at the Cosmopolitan. I yes. love the chandelier Beautiful. bar. Beautiful. Just for pictures and fabulosity. Yeah, exactly. For <laughs> <laughs> yes. fabulosity. Come for the pictures, yes. stay for the fabulosity. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the third strip proper place that I would recommend that people go to is, uh, now I can't remember the name of it because... It's it's basically the top of what used to be the Mandarin Oriental. Yeah. Oh my God, I've eaten there. The tea I place? Made, no, 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 there's a re- not a restaurant. There's a bar, another bar. Oh. Yes. It's not now. It's the Waldorf Astoria. Oh, okay. And at the very top, mm-hmm. there's there, a restaurant. There's a restaurant and a bar, yeah. and it's the mo- most amazing view of the city. You it can is. get a good view from the top of the stratosphere, mm-hmm. or a good view at the, from the top of. Um, not Aria, next to Aria. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I mean, um, what's the other one? No, it's the it's the whole, it's city center. So it's the very top of city center, and you can look down into the right. whole thing, and it's beautiful. Chris took me there on my birthday, and yeah. I was like, because I was like, I want to go to a fancy schmancy motherfucking dinner. Like we spent so much money on oh. a horrible slice of duck yeah. and venison. You're and paying just, for the view. It was terrible. The yeah. food was like, if you're gonna go, like mm-hmm. I would say, go and go to the bar. Yeah. yeah. Just like get some drinks. Have but drinks. Yeah. Make it. You can walk up there just to go to the bar, right? Yeah. So yeah. It's a way to just ah, enjoy it. Enjoy the fabulosity, but I don't pay it. for yeah. it. Bougie on a budget. <laughs> Bougie on a budget. You That's catch how it right I around live. sunset. Oh, yeah. 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 And you could just keep saying, "I'm just waiting for my friend." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a table of four coming whatever i'm yeah. just be here till then don't yeah. mind me <laughs> don't mind me yes all yeah, right good good suggestion good what suggestion. about you okay so three strip hot spots um i like secret pizza at the cosmopolitan mm-hmm. oh amazing new york pizza oh, i Always love after it. like boulevard pool concerts yes yeah so i actually just went to secret pizza for my first time what? um i still haven't been my ex-boyfriend took me there. He was like, we were hungry. And he was like, hey, let's go to Secret Pizza. And I was like, I still haven't eaten there. Apparently, the meatball pizza is really good. I don't know. I got the veggie pizza, and it was delicious. And they have, like, a really cool, like, New York beer there. I don't know. It was good. So Secret Pizza in the Cosmopolitan. And there is no sign, so you got to find it. But once you go in there, it's so cool because, like, the the walls are plastered mm-hmm. with... Um, Re- records. Yeah, records and stuff. Right, right. Um, yeah. See, this is what the... going to be my problem is where I'm going to want to say is not technically off the strip but it's still touristy Mm. the hard rock Oh, I'll accept it. Yeah, that's strippish. Like Paul, it's strip, strip adjacent. adjacent. The Paul, the per, the Palms. Yeah, yeah. Rio, yeah. Those are so anywhere yeah. in the Hard Rock. Um, if you want to eat, go to Mr. Lucky's and get the seven 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 twenty four hour cafe. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Um, but just just hanging out, having a drink in the Hard Rock, you get to listen to the great <laughs> music and be around that fucking ambiance. I love the Hard Rock. Yeah. Um, and let me think. Something else on the strip I like. The Boulevard Pool at the Cosmo. Think pool parties, nightclubs, um, free things to do. God, I haven't been to Anything. a nightclub in forever. Fucking like, just watch the Bellagio Fountains, guys. Yeah, that's yeah. a good thing to do. Yeah. They yeah. go off uh, the quarter of every hour. Yeah. And uh, you just stand in front. My favorite was watching them do the Pink Panther. And it was like, the water was like, didn't, didn't, didn't. I miss like the a pirate. ballet. You're I like, missed what? the pirate yeah. show that was at Treasure, Treasure Island. Island. That was fun. Yeah. That was definitely fun. They had fun. the pirate battle, and then they turned it into a siren show. And then they just got rid of everything. And I was like, fuck you guys. I know. That was yeah. stupid. That was cool, though. Yeah, yeah it was fun. And, stupid you know, they just it. cut budget. And they want to save some money here and there. Yeah, but like, we that's... can't pay these performers to, you know, jump in the water anymore. Yeah. Losers yeah. giving people a reason to go to the Treasure Island. Yeah, right. This is my ass Treasure Island. <laughs> okay, I will throw out um, uh, definitely. 
You know what I really loved was Giada's as far as a really cool restaurant. Mm. You know, spend a little bit, not too yeah. much. Go for the lunch, uh, but it's right on the strip at the Flamingo. Okay. It's right great. on the view. Yeah, yeah, they got a great view, too. Yeah, I like stuff with a view. Um, I like, I love Mandalay Beach. If you ever have a chance <gasps> to come out and oh, see a Mandalay concert Beach. on Mandalay Beach, it's like flip-flops, toes in the sand. It's just You like, can swim and watch the artist perform yeah. at the same time. Yeah, Mandalay yeah. Beach. Um, Concerts on the beach. That's a good one. And I love this. Uh, it's all restaurants right now. It's all That's I can fine. think of. But um, I love this cafe at the Wind because it's beautiful. It's out on the pool deck and it's very reasonable. I know which one you're talking about. Yes. Yeah, I don't, know what, I don't know what it's called, Whatever. though. Yeah. You'll, you'll find I out. I almost said yeah. Mona Miga B because I really like that place. Oh, that's, that's a good one, Paris. too, over yeah. in Paris. Yeah. Yes. Great that's, okay, bonus. Yeah. Mona Miga B. Yeah. yeah. Breakfast on the Strip for yes. sure. Yeah. All right. If you want to go to a fancy place, like go to their lunch happy hours yeah. or just go to a fancy restaurant in Vegas. You want to fucking see it. They all have bars. Waltz up in that motherfucker and get go to the bar. Yeah. Yep. Right? You can yep. get in anywhere. Yep. Three non-tourist hot spots that you found Ooh. as you travel to Vegas often. Non-tourist hot spots. I like the hiking out at... Um, Red Rock? Uh, no, not at Red Rock. Oh, I'm drawing a blank, but we did it last December and it was fantastic. White Dome. Lake Mead? No, 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 no. The, the slot canyons over at White Dome, all the way oh. at. Um, huh? <laughs> both of you are like, oh. where? Uh-huh. Where the petroglyphs are? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why am I drawing? Okay, I'll come back. Valley to of it. Fire? Valley of Fire. Thank okay. you. Okay. Oh. Yeah, out of the Valley of Fire. It was just so nice and peaceful. Valley of Fire also does beautiful weddings. If you're coming out for a Vegas wedding, but yeah. you don't want to do it in a chapel, like look up Valley of Fire weddings. They're in the middle, and they do them at like sunset, so you get this beautiful desert sunset. Is in that the, the Indian Reservation? Right? Um, it's a little. No, it's just kind of like it's kind of like Red Rock, but like the opposite way, like yeah. going towards Moapa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like a national park yeah which by the way was really funny because when we went out there it was when the government shutdown was happening oh so you just got to walk right in well at first there was a giant line of cars and we decided decided to say screw this we'll just park somewhere and just walk around a little bit get back in the car yeah okay we got went in there and it was free because of the government shutdown shutdown. we're like oh the government shut down is awesome (laughs) everybody's like yeah yeah sweet government shutdown oh my god (laughs) actually that was at red rock no, oh. I think about it. That was Red Rock. Oh, okay. Well, the Valley of Fire is still really fucking cool, though. I like it there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Interesting. Okay. So right, what else you got? Uh, for off strip stuff? You need three. Yeah. That's right. Two more. I dig herbs and rye. That oh. That's a fantastic yeah. restaurant. A bar? A bar and a restaurant. Okay. A bar restaurant, yeah. Um, Sahara. Yeah, it's off of Sahara where the old Zia Records used to. Or like Near where the old Zia Records used to be, yeah. Yes. Correct. It's on Correct. Sahara. And uh-huh. what makes this place a great find is that they have a fantastic happy hour. And mm-hmm. they have two happy hours, you know, regular time from like 5 to 8, and then another one later on in the night from like 11 to 2. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. all the steaks there are half price. So, I actually think Herbs and Rye used to be the Slanted Clam. Yes, the Slanted That's Clam. That's what it is. Yes. Yep. Uh, okay. Very sexy I- name. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> So that's why I like that one. My third off off strip place that I would recommend that people go to is I'd say go check out the uh, Mint, the Mint's Tavern. That's a good one. Thank you for reminding me. But I'll me. let you, you, if you have something else. But that's where we met and did our interview. That is. Yeah. yeah. And actually, the episode that I'm releasing later on today is all about the Mint. So oh, how, hey. how can I forget them? Gosh, yeah. Um, I'm super embarrassed. But yeah, the Mint Tavern is a fantastic place. I know. Sometimes you're like, why can't I think of this right now? Yeah. I love Rapid Fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah those Rapid Fire is, uh, it puts you on the spot and now you got to use your brain. Yeah. It is, a, it is a cool little, like, they got, like, a little speakeasy lounge there. And yeah, they got, like, they do some swing dancing over oh. there. It's just this cool little place that has, like, an old school and new school vibe all at the same time. I love it. Yeah, it's just a cool little bar. So the main tavern. Thank you for the help with that. Well, I was just thinking, what, we just met there. And you were telling me, I was like, I've never been to this little local <laughs> local thing. That's yeah. cool. Okay, so uh, three non-tour spots. I love, um, I don't know. I'm going to throw Hiking it Hiking Lone, Lone Mountain. Lone Mountain, yes, yes. Oh. See, thank you. We all You're need welcome. help. Lone Mountain is like it takes about an hour to get to the top, uh-huh. and um, no, it takes about an hour to get up and down. Oh, I okay. hiked it with my girl Brittany. Aww, R.I.P. But it's a really cool uh, place, really cool, just little mountain on the west side, and it's a great hike. You can walk, ha- hike the base or the yeah. bottom. But if you go out to Vegas, you like to hike. Um, I'll throw out another workout spot like True Fusion. Man, you want to mm-hmm. get some of the best like hot yoga workout actions in town. True Fusion, there's locations all over, but yeah. that's this is where I live. Yes. Uh, my hot Pilates places. Yeah. But I got to think of something. Let's see. Off the strip, hot spots. Hot and juicy crawfish, man. Oh, yeah. What? If Talk you want. About, they've been on the Travel Channel. They've been on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
If you want to get like, uh, you just want to get a big bag, a big pound of shrimp and like tear the heads off yeah. and, and, and the juice runs down your elbows and you smell like garlic for like two days. Yeah. It's, it's all worth good. it. Nice. It's so worth it. It's You stink so bad like garlic. You have to go with your significant other yes. or they will know. Or they won't want to sleep next to you. <laughs> Stink so bad. It's true. This is like where they put down the butcher paper on the table yeah. and they yeah. just lay it all out in front of you. Yeah. You just eat it with your hands. Yeah, pretty much. I love it. Yeah. Get a bib. Um, and spicy as hell. If you want to, like, mm. you could die on their spice. It's so good. All right. Okay. So uh, next. I'm going to give you some, like, Henderson spots. Because yeah. that, that's where I roam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, there's a place called Truffles and Bacon that's been featured on the Travel Channel. Ooh. They have some of the best food I've ever had in my life. They have a burger with hot Cheetos on it. Okay. <laughs> I feel the vibe. Okay. Yes. <laughs> they have a, it's like hot Cheetos and sriracha and like, oh my God. And then they have like, like tots that are like with chorizo and pork rinds and yes it's not good for you if you want like don't don't yeah. eat there and think you're gonna be thin no that sounds <laughs> delish yeah. it's so fucking good everything i've had on that menu i've been there like three or four times even one day like i just went and i had bangers and mash and i was it's all such good oh, food oh yeah yeah i did um, that so there's that I got to give it up to Vegas local PTs. You can go anywhere. Any PTs in Vegas. Any PTs in Vegas. Everything is so consistent. I wish they all had jukeboxes, though. That's one of my big things. I want to play pool, and I want to go to the jukebox. I want to play Roxanne's Always My First Song. Ah. Last trip, I watched a Knights game at a PTs. Yeah. Like, I was just ready for bed, and I was right next to a PTs. I just pulled in, had a beer, watched the end of the game with a crowd full of Vegas locals. It was the best. If you can find last-minute Knights games tickets, I hear they're pretty decent. Otherwise, they're insane to buy. Yeah. You'd have to spur the moment. Yeah. Yeah. But nice yeah, games. PTs are fucking cool as mm-hmm. shit. Like, mm-hmm. any anyway, food. Good food, yes. Let me think. What else? What else in Henderson? It's hard to think when yes. you're like, oh, I got this. This is easy. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm just going to give it up to Town Square, period. Yeah. Fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah. Shopping, dining, bars. Uh, outdoor. The outdoors. Yeah. It's all outdoors. It's kind of like I would compare it to the Grove in LA. Right. Yeah. That's what right. I would compare it to. But, um, if you go to Town Squares, go to Double Helix. There's a good bar. Like, there's a good bar yeah. there. It's a whiskey and cigar bar called Double Helix. Mm, right across from the Yard House. Yes, I've been I on many the first house. dates there. Yeah. Ah. So if you want to catch me in action on a first date, go to Double Helix. <laughs> yeah. Now you all know where to take her. <laughs> oh God, Instagram nobody's taking me it. out. Oh. <laughs> Nobody likes me. I like you. They're like this bitch has sure. a pod- This bitch has a podcast. I don't want to date her. <laughs> she offered to take you out last time I was in town. I was depressed and not doing anything, and I had to talk to my parents about some stuff. Uh, so. yeah. <laughs> but the offer's always down. Thank Anytime you. want to go hang. Ah, we know this. Yes. We're gonna bug you. Three imploded casinos. Three imploded casinos. Boy, the Dunes, Ooh. the um, Stardust, yeah, yeah, and the um, uh, I, I wanted to say the Stratosphere because of the way they were promoting the oh. new the new naming, but they're not blowing it up. They're just renaming no. it the Strat. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, let's see, what have they blown up? Um, oh, they didn't blow up the Aladdin either. Shoot, nope, no, they it's just now t- playing in Hollywood. They yeah, changed it to the PH. Yeah. You, you t- we talked about one earlier. We did. <laughs> What's like name three? Are there going to be more? I can't. I don't even know. Um, how about casino? Oh shoot! What, uh, Las Vegas Club. Ooh, oh yeah. Yes. Uh, Las Vegas Club is where Cir- Circa is going in in downtown. Yeah, downtown. Although <laughs> technically it wasn't imploded, they just took it apart with big cranes <laughs> and just like we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll Demolish take it. the Riviera. Yeah, the Riviera. Did I not say the Riviera? No, nope. you didn't say the Sands either. Oh no, the Sands is still there. The s- well, no. <laughs> Take, okay, the SLS stand is where the Sands was. The SLS was the was Sahara. The Sahara, oh, the Sahara oh, was sands. imploded. Yeah, the, the Sands I'm was getting imploded, it all mixed and up. so was the Desert Inn. There used to be a yeah. casino called Desert Inn, and that oh, was imploded. Yeah. yeah, I think Desert Inn was imploded too. I, I can't remember why. Yeah. What what went there? And I'm trying to think what else has been imploded. I think we may have hit it for I the think main ones. Yeah. Yeah, I always was. get the Sands and the Sahara mixed up. Oh, because they both start with an S. Yeah, uh, that's okay. And because yeah. I'm not bright. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what your next algorithm says. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, last one. Go so for three it. Vegas headlining shows. Oh, uh, Celine Dion. Ooh. Oh, um, retiring. I'll say Billy Idol. Yeah. Because I was a oh, yeah, huge Billy Idol fan growing up. He does have him. a residency. I can't wait to see him at the Pearl. Yes. Yeah, he does. Yeah. And um, because uh, I'm old, I'll say Wayne Newton coming soon to. Um, oh shoot! Where I just read that. Where's he going? <laughs> He's going to um, Hooters. 
<laughs> then again, he's at Hooters every night anyway, because oh. he loves them wings. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, Wayne Newton just got a residency somewhere. I can't remember where, though. I, Did he really? Did he really? Good yeah. for him. Oh, MG, is it MGM? Uh. I can't remember. I, I have... I, <laughs> Okay, now I gotta look it up when we're done. All okay, right, but, all right, but Wayne it. Newton coming to a casino near you. <laughs> we have to know. Yeah. Coming to a retirement home near you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to. Do, I'm googling this. Go, Bruce. All right, go. so I'm gonna say absent. Yes. Which I still haven't seen. Ex boyfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Broken promises. <laughs> Broken promises. That was supposed to be my Christmas present. Excuse me. <laughs> um, absent. Uh, Beatles love. Oh, yes. nice. Yes, yeah. I've seen it. And but I gotta say, Absinthe is. I've seen that show three times. It is so fucking hilarious. And I hear it's a different awesome. show every time, basically. Yeah, like a little bit. They they rotate yeah. the performers. Okay. But it's incredible. It's so great. Go see that. I still need to see it. I can't believe it's it. Chris. <laughs> I, 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 I haven't I, seen I have Absinthe no, I have no either. Good excuse. That's the sound of no good excuse. I I, I, I haven't I, seen Absinthe either. But you know. Dude, I, you two both need to get a night. I guess I guess we're get gonna go life. together. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make my ex boyfriend pay for it since that's what he owes me for Christmas. Done. Oh god. <laughs> he can he can pay for us to go out on a date. Nice. <laughs> Free um, tickets. Yes. So I'll go with Absinthe. Oh, I wonder if Wayne Mo- Mo- Newton's gonna go over to the Westgate and take right over here. for Barry Manilow. N- Mr. Las Vegas, Wayne Newton moving to Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Palace. Sorry we doubted you, King. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Sorry we doubted you, sir. <laughs> I'm like, you're going to be at the Hooters Casino, whatever. I, know, I feel like Westgate sounds right. Let me look. It says, <laughs> it says right there. Oh. Caesars. February 2nd, 20 night. Mr. Las Vegas is relaunching Wayne Newton up close and personal at Caesars Palace. That's awesome. Oh, so Pat- Cleopatra's barge. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds right. Now that sounds right. <laughs> That's the lounge that seats like eight people. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no. No, Wayne. Right. <laughs> Cleopatra's was, barge. <laughs> Hooters was too big of a venue. They Hooters. Needed the- he, it's a storytelling show. Show. Oh, because yeah. it's pipes free? are kind of shot now. I don't know, you guys. We're going to have to look more into this. <laughs> tickets? Nope. Tickets are not. Meet and greets for $200. Oh, cool. Tickets <laughs> start at $90. <laughs> I don't know about Cleopatra's Barge, though. I'm not going to get a look at that venue. There's no ropes. No, but that's like an intimate setting. I think I would go see Wayne Newton at Cleopatra's Barge because, like, I missed Siegfried and Roy. I missed Don Aww. Rickles. Like, uh, I missed all the big ones that are known for Vegas. Yeah. He's one of the last few. Yeah. That are Mr. Mm, he's Mr. Mr. Vegas. Vegas. That's yes. very true. All very right. True. And then I'll give it up for the original Cirque du Soleil show at the TI. What's that one called? Mystere. Mystere, oh, yes. Mystere, yeah. I've, I've seen them all, the Cirque du Soleil shows. Zoomanity, I think. Well, Beatles Love is my favorite, but Zoomanity, I think, is my second favorite. Yeah, Zoomanity is sexy. Really? Zoomanity yes. sexy and fun. They used to have an Elvis Cirque show that did not last very long, and it was at... Aria, I think. I think that's right. Uh, yeah, I think it was at the Aria. It didn't last long, and I right. it didn't last long because my voice coach used to teach all the people that were in that show. So they asked for hip hop dancers, but they had them dancing classically. So all these people, they wanted hip hop dancers. They thought they did when they were putting together this show, and then all these people, they were like, "Well, you have to do ballet too," and they were like the fuck I'm not, tra- not trained in this <laughs> so everybody was getting injured and the show was more expensive to put on than it than it was making so they wow. were just like ah, fuck this we're cutting this yeah bye there's, oh. there's been some really great shows that have come and gone yeah though. is that that's, three that's my three yeah okay um um it's happening again I'm <laughs> yeah. freezing Zumanity yeah. we'll give you that one it's mm-hmm. like winning an Oscar and forgetting to thank your spouse <laughs> I know that's why they get out their notes where's my notes um Gwen Stefani was really fun Ooh. Mariah Carey Mariah Carey Mariah Carey I don't want to see Mariah carry again or recommend her okay it was all right so whatever la rev la oh. rev is one of my it, it's not cirque du soleil but it is like Ka. i've seen it yeah pitbull's coming to the strip he's got a little short oh, that's residency. what i was gonna say cardi b is coming to the strip oh yeah okay. she's getting from? her residency yeah. christina aguilera's coming christina aguilera's right. getting there her residency goes. cardi yeah. b christina and la rev there you go. You stole my absent. That was my favorite show. Oh, yeah, well, I'm just bitter. I still haven't seen it when I was supposed to see it. You gotta see it. Oh, man. I will. That's see, one of our clients too. I should be able to get free tickets. Yeah. I tried. I tried really hard not to show my age because the first thing that I thought of was like Donnie and Marie. 
Hey, there's nothing wrong with Donnie That's and Marie. That's right. No Tony way. Braxton had a residency, too. <laughs> oh, but these questions are a fantastic, like, Rorschach test or litmus test or whatever. Like, basically, it reveals something about your inner self. Yeah. Like, the first thing that comes to mind. Like, what do I want to say? And what do I want to say to look cool? Yeah. Like, I don't want to say Donnie and Marie, but they're the first ones that came to mind. You, I like a good drag show. You know what else I, they used to have downtown that I really liked was um, Drink and Drag. Drink and Drag, the bowling place. The bowling place. It was drag queen bowling. No idea. I know about punk rock bowling. Punk rock bowling. Okay, so yes. It's an event. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. an event. But this place, it was a bar. Now the nerd bar, actually. Drink and Drag was drag queens. There was a drag show. It was bowling. It was alcohol. There was oh, glitter everywhere. It was so fabulous. Drunk, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> it was. I was so drunk. They had great music. They did have great music. I don't remember. I partied Very there. Very shady dance floor, though. I, had, I partied there <laughs> once. I came home with my shoes on. <laughs> I don't remember how I got home, though. <laughs> And because it's like the the queens just kept like coming around like take a shot honey take a shot they honey. do and I'm like get off my man I don't want no more tequila <laughs> yeah I'm like okay I'll take another shot see but I get that way when I go to Piranha too oh. anytime I go to like Free Zone Piranha I always get in trouble when I party with the uh, LGBT community mm -hmm. I don't know y'all can party y'all can party <laughs> Free Zone I um, probably should have got arrested there because I. Oh, we can't talk about this on the podcast. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Next episode, things we almost got arrested for in Vegas. I should have been arrested. arrested for. No, we will never release that episode. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like. I'm about to tell this story, and then I'm like, nope, we're still rolling. I gotta cut that. Yeah, one of your minute. best friends is a, one of your best friends is a cop, so yeah. you're a little too close to it. Yeah, right. She doesn't listen. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> she listens to us yapping up. She's like, I know you do. I don't She's do like, uh, like Natalie does not know certain parts of me. And she will never know that side of me. <laughs> Natalie, new listener. <laughs> She's like, so I got around to episode, uh, yeah, of yeah, well, so what you, episode? What did you almost get arrested for at the fruit, <laughs> down in the Fruit Loop? I was not trying to buy drugs. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, well, listen, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap. We got to wrap this. Uh, people keep coming out here to eat, and then they turn around because we're loud and obnoxious. <laughs> yeah. They love it. They are they enjoying it. They keep wrapping. looking at us like, what are they doing right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is L.A. They're used to this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is no big thing. Yeah. I know. You like Walker. I love L.A. I love how funky everybody yeah. is. Like, I love the style and the fashion. And, I mean. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we're yeah. into Luca Lake, so it's a very chill kind of family-ish yeah. neighborhood. Yeah. But yeah. there's a lot of production that happen, happens around here. And so they see this, they just figure, oh, it must be someone doing, you know, big typical. Deal. Yeah. yeah. Typical. Big deal. People who think they're important. <laughs> sit around with microphones. Yeah. Well, we do We're have doing them. a show. We do have the hoodies on, so maybe they see yeah. the logo. We have our uniform, our keep it yeah. swag uh, yeah. hoodies on. Yeah. Chris, you are uh, Thank you. the real MVP. Yes. You know, we, just, uh, we just really just cherish your friendship yeah and you guys are the best honestly had a blast. you were one of our first listeners we didn't know yeah <laughs> <laughs> like you got in like when we first started and you were like hey shout outs like bringing shout outs on twitter we're just like she was like have you heard of this guy and i was like, she's like is this your friend and i was like no is that your friend and i was like oh my god he just fought, fought found us we have a fan <laughs> yeah i got super lucky i was just looking for vegas podcasts to listen to and yours was one of the first that came up i said this is one i haven't heard and i gave it a listen and i loved you guys from the day Aww. one and wanted to send you guys a little shout out you know, yeah. give give you some encouragement as a new podcast. Yeah, and I've enjoyed the ride. You Thank wouldn't believe. You. I mean, sometimes you think, oh, I really enjoy this, but I'm not really saying anything. You yeah. know, like say something. Let people know you like their outfit or you appreciate. Yeah. Even if you're equals, like we're all podcasters. Yeah. He's like, I love your podcast, and you know, I just I'm not into the, like the podcasters that are like I'm going to keep everything a secret and I don't want anybody to know my no. success. It's like share whatever. We we all have something to say. Every podcast is unique. Yeah. Like even the true crime genre where there's like a bajillion true crime podcasts. Every one of those is unique. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what makes your show great is you always bring up a topic that people can relate to. And I we think try that's to. fantastic. Like, I remember you were talking, the Halloween episode where you have, had on... Um, it's about damn crime. It's about damn crime. Uh -huh. Our girls. Yeah. yeah. And you guys were talking about the Cecil Hotel and the Elisa Lamb uh -huh. story. Oh. And, I, and I, I've been to that hotel. Yeah. I've been to the roof. I took uh, like. Did you drink? Did you drink black water on the roof? <laughs> I did not drink black water on the roof. But when you brought that up, I'm like, I thought only LA people knew about this. No, I mean that's a rabbit hole I have 
dove down yeah. completely. We might be doing something with them around Halloween again this yeah. year. Yeah, I think there are Halloween traditions. There, there, yeah, there so. are. Well, they they are babes anyway. Yeah. But we're thinking. We're, we think we're going to do something bigger Halloween this year with That'll them. That'll be fun. And we're talking live and interactive. You know how? Yeah, we, uh, you know. Yeah. You know <laughs> we're not, we we're not announcing it just yet, but yeah, a little announce. Yeah, but you guys have that kind of show where every episode I'm talking to my car. I love as that. I'm <laughs> you know what? When I. When I started in radio, when I started in podcasting, it was just because, like, I would listen to morning shows and I would be like, oh, I can talk about this shit. Yeah. <laughs> or you just want it. You want a feedback. You Can you yeah. imagine how frustrated it's going to be? People were like, name three of these. They're in their car. Like, no, but this, you're forgetting about this one that was imploded. <laughs> the Riviera. You just said it earlier. Yeah. I love stuff like yeah. that. Me yeah. too. So, please, if you have feedback or you want to chat with us, just reach out. Chris is great on Twitter. Yes. So tell him your Twitter again. Uh, you can find me at Faces and Aces LV. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't really do any hashtags. Just like the generic ones. Hashtag Vegas. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Like that. We, we need to start the hashtag Faces and Aces then. We're doing that right now. Okay. Let's do it. Let's yep. make it a thing. We are starting that hashtag. And if you tweet at us, hashtag Keep It Casual. Keep It a Casual podcast. Right on. Keep at it. We look at those. We look through those hashtags. So that's how we get some of your feedback, guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And by the way, before we bounce, if yeah. I could just like bring up one. Get up on it. Yeah. Get it. We ain't bouncing um, yet. So as part of uh, the podcast that I've been doing for a while now, mm-hmm. we recently did an episode about homeless people okay. in Vegas. Oh, and yeah. it's, Did it's you read a, the book? Not yet. There are, read the book. Not yet. You know are what you book I'm Matthew talking about? Matthew O'Brien's book? The, un, the Under the yeah. under the Neon, the, about uh, yeah. living in the tunnels? Yes. Exactly. Very good book. I had Matthew O'Brien on the show. We talked about it. Oh, shit. And uh, it's heartbreak. It's a heartbreaking story. And yeah. I've kind of wrestled with what can I do? And I haven't announced this on my show yet. This is the first place I'm announcing it. Okay. And I will be talking about it on my show okay. at some point in the future. Yes. But uh, I'm starting a project to do something to help. Matthew O'Brien, the person who wrote the book, yeah. uh, Under the Neon. Um, yeah. is it Under Beneath the Neon. The neon. Beneath the neon. Um, he moved to South America. And so he has a guy named Paul Vatrano now t- who took over his project called mm-hmm. Shine a Light. We're going to be working with them, to, and we're going to be asking people who come and visit Vegas. When you're staying in your hotel room, if you take that little hotel soap and you put it in your bag, like day one, when they come in and clean your room, they will replace that soap every day you take one. So maybe it's the first day, maybe it's the last day. But if you take those soaps and you save them, hold on to them. And we're going to try to start to collect those for homeless people uh, to pass out in the tunnels underneath oh, Vegas. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome because it's just such little things like that you don't think of. And that yeah, are, exactly. That's so cool. Chris. So nice. I'm not yeah. exactly sure. I haven't worked out all the details mm-hmm. yet on how to collect those soaps. I have ideas, but we're still working on it. Okay. But at some point, I'll have a website up called cleangetaway.org, and you'll be able to find all the information there. Yes, You I know what that. we should do? We could do, um, yeah, listeners, we're going to do this now. I'm talking about it. Yeah. Whatever, it's, it's happening. Done. We it's could sold do out. like a, <laughs> yeah, we sold it out. We could do like, get a bunch, like a few Vegas podcasters together and do like a benefit. I, I mean, I haven't officially set up a 501c3 yet. Well, we're going to have to wait till you officially launch, and then right. we will work on... Uh, we with you. I appreciate You're that. Vegas adjacent, so, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Neighbors. You're an honorary local. You are an honorary <laughs> local. Your podcast is about Vegas, even though you live in L.A., you know, whatever. Right, right. And yeah. you guys are L.A., honorary L.A. people, if you well, want Well, I mean, it. I I lived here, so. I did, yeah. too, for a minute. Yeah, yeah, we both lived here, so, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, the big thing is, Paul Vatrano over at Shine and Light, he actually goes down to the tunnels, and he builds up relationships with these people. Oh, wow. Now, when you run into homeless people, it usually takes a good 15 to 20 encounters with them and getting to know them before they decide to make a change and mm-hmm. he's the guy who's the constant in their lives and so if you and i were to go down to the tunnels and pass stuff out helpful but not nah. doesn't really get them off the street yeah he's building the relationships with them and so basically i just wanted to do something to support him in his efforts to keep tight with those people right. more like yeah. socks uh soaps waters and things like that that th- we can deliver to them That's the better awesome. for him yes That's a good idea. yes we well, should we should do a benefit. Yeah, keep us posted on this project because we definitely want to. You we'll know, do. this is this is me coming anyway. from like the music, the local music scene. It's like, oh, we could do a music, like we could do a benefit show, but we like we're, we're, we're podcasters. A sing-a-thon, like, we're, let's do we're it. We're podcasters, so we could do like a benefit show, but you know, live podcasting instead of live music. Yeah, yeah. it makes me think of like Mickey Rooney. Hey, let's put on a show, gang. And, you yeah. know, go out there and put that's on a show, me. raise some money. Like, let's do it. Okay. That's just how I think, though. Yeah. I'm always like, we can make this bigger than what you're doing right now. Like, let's. Let's think big. Let's think, think giant. Bigger. Again, me, super old. Mickey Rooney reference. <laughs> I know. I'm like, who? <laughs> who that? 
the baseball player? <laughs> Never mind. I'm actually 85 years old. You guys can't tell. <laughs> But I'm actually You've been <laughs> keeping up with your skincare routine. I'm proud of you. He said that I'm doing silent. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's really cool. That book, let's bring it all back around. That book is actually really good, Beneath the Neon. And I like to our listeners, um, I read it, and then he was... This is This is just, you know, me reminiscing. He was at First Friday that same night. And selling his books and doing a book signing. So I would, I was like, dude, that book sounds cool as fuck. Like, I'm going to go buy it and bought it. I have an autographed copy from him. It's in my oh, bookshelf. Awesome. And it was it was a really good book. Nice. Yeah. Beneath the Neon, guys. Read it. It it, it really opens up your eyes because, you know, you think homeless people like, oh, these dirty. But, like, a lot of them, like, even in this book, they have they hold jobs. They just, you know, some of them just like to be homeless. Some of them have addiction issues that they can't keep a home. But, you know, they can still be a janitor. Some yeah. of them just got fucked, couldn't pay their rent. They're yeah. on the streets, and it becomes a lifestyle. Yeah. You know? Well, and I, I couldn't even imagine what it would have been like to do this type of work after, like, after the crash. Yeah, a lot of cons- people who work construction couldn't find work because they weren't yep. building in Vegas. And, and, you know, just now yep. you guys have bounced back. Mm-hmm. We're, we, we're thriving right now, but... Yeah. We're driving right now, that's for show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Markets, like, this is not the, the podcast where we talk about uh, the... the stock market or anything sorry guys <laughs> <laughs> i'm not going to tell you where to invest yourself <laughs> no we just love it we look forward to seeing you when we came yes. out here we wanted to give you a platform to speak on your yes. stuff and ask you silly vegas questions because we were like does he know more than we do and i think so yeah <laughs> chris, I, chris he knows can't make a rooney mickey rooney and everybody you know <laughs> he, he used to hang out with frank sinatra down at the, and down at the sands <laughs> Kristen Casino. <laughs> he was next to Oscar Goodman That's in right. Casino, yeah. playing himself, Chris yeah. Kim. Yeah. I'm so old, Frank Sinatra. I knew Frank Sinatra and Oscar Goodman when they were kids. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You you helped him study for the bar exam so he could become a lawyer. For... I babysat them. I babysat Frank Sinatra. I just All look right. really good. And even this, a... even if this isn't true, I'm just gonna say it and put it on the universe. Chris Kim's gonna be at our live show. Damn so. right. Damn right. Ninety five percent. I'm in. Right. Perfect. Ninety five percent. He will be there so you can come up and talk to him too so go get your tickets for our live show Saturday April 27th yes $15 tickets. gets $15. you an entry and a goodie bag yes. yes hell yeah yes yes hey look at he's even promoting us good Dude, job work work, <laughs> work it, it. Um, all social media you can find me on Twitter at faces and aces LV same thing with Instagram and if you feel the need to email me you could uh, hit me up Chris at faces and aces LV.com nobody's Perfect. gonna email you no, <laughs> <laughs> We get emails all the time. People might feel the need to email you. Yeah. You never know. I we get emails it. all the time where people are like, "We need help with our lives." Yeah. Yeah. Some people, somebody might DMs, but yeah. yeah. Some people might email you and be like, "Look, I need help with finding a really good restaurant." You know. You did, never I know. Say, did I say Faces and Aces LV on Twitter? Or did I say just yeah? Okay. Faces and L- Aces LV Twitter right. and Instagram and, Insta. and possible email face- Chris at Faces and Aces LV dot com. There you go. Uh, Damn. My home address is. <laughs> And his social security number. <laughs> Find me on Airbnb. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Before we go, uh, one more episode. Uh, what? Any some episodes that you just you want to shine lights on? Oh yeah, because we like, have your stripper please. episode. But. Stripper episode. Breeze episode, which yes. is called Sex and uh, Dating. Sex and Dating in Vegas. Okay, and then. Any uh, that you just remember, you just love. Well, you're, you're going to be popping up soon, sometime ah, in March. Okay. Oh, yeah. We have a, a pro, I don't know, pro woman episode coming in March for International Women's Day. Okay. Um, another episode that I, uh, you know, Sex and Dating in Vegas is a great one. It features uh, yes. Brie, yes. Brianna, and it also features the My Worst Date gals who we're here to support tonight. Yep. Yes. So check out that. And also Scott from Vital Vegas. Yeah. You know, okay. That's a fun episode. It's a good one. It is All a right. fun episode. You get to hear my coolest first date on that episode yeah <laughs> you okay. do i okay. do i talk about the coolest first date i ever went on all right yep all right so listen uh check out faces and aces lv chris thank you so much for thank coming you. on with us thank You're you a- so much for having me it's so good to see you guys out here in la yes i, I think we need to call you the wolf now though yes. straight up yeah. the cleaner <laughs> <laughs> um, um we're looking forward to partying with you at my worst dates live yes. show tonight oh that's gonna be great i'm really looking <laughs> forward to it well, yes. thank you so much for having me thank on you. until next time bye, bye. bye. Girl, that was fun. Yeah, another fun conversation with you. Yes. If you have any feedback, email us feedback at keepingacasualpodcast.com.
My Twitter is Bremixed, B-R-E-E-M-I-X-E-D. And I'm at MJ Radio Diva, any social platform. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Keeping It Casual Podcast. You get to see live videos, silly little photos of us. Mm -hmm. All the dumb photos that we talk about. Anything photo-wise we talk about in the episode, it'll be there. We look forward to hearing from you. (laughs) We'll be back with more uh, gossip about nothing and everything. Bye. Bye.